Today is topic. Um, I'm sure you guys can see that woman on my left, right? Okay. So, um, apparently, this is a this is a woman who is, I guess, salty about um, the kind of person she is. You know, when people are salt, when you say something to the general public and someone is offended, then that more likely trends it as you just spoke to me personally. Well, unfortunately, you're not the only person that live on planet Earth. Uh, but she, you know what, I'm going to I'm gonna let you guys see for yourself who she is. So, without further ado, let's get in. Okay, first of all, um, wow, it's only been four seconds and I have to stop already. Um, if you're gonna make a video, do you have to have a girl entrance? Do you have to make a scene out of it? Like, you walk in as if you think you're a model? Please. Walk normally. There's nothing right now that you just did in that four second that is attractive to a man. Let's move on anyways. But I'm probably sure there's going to be worse to come. This little old daddy, Kevin Sandman Samuels. Okay. Ah, oh, here we are. This is nine seconds already, guys, into the video. I do not know if I'm going to be able to make the whole video. Um, okay. You don't have to be sexual. Okay. You don't see me speaking. Hey guys, there is this woman right here. Huh? No, just speak normally. And nobody's gonna be mesmerized uh, or serenaded by what sh by your bad, by, actually, by your bad behavior, basically. So please keep keep your sexual um, charisma. Out of this, if you're gonna, which I'm thinking, if you're gonna be I'm going on rent about it, don't make it sexual because now you sound, um, how is that word? Not huh, attractive. I, I think I would say, I could say creepy, and actually, I would bet. That that behavior that right now you're you're showing, I'm talking to this woman right here. That behavior that you're showing might actually scare other women. And what's up with the hair? Okay, guys, this is a older woman who is hurt. Maybe a single mother as well, and she is hurt. And now the truth is coming out. She is not happy with it. But let's move on. He over here talking shit. Hmm. Talking shit about the black woman. Now why would he do that? Um, because one, um, now, not that he is talking bad thing about black women, 
but one thing for sure um when he comes to to talk he dress he dresses professionally but you can't even dress decent now do you have to show your your stuff to get a point to get your point across can couldn't you dress more professionally you see looking at you and him um i would take him more um seriously i can't take you seriously at least when he dresses he doesn't put on some clothes that shows his chest and abs right so if you could at least dress professionally and not trying to talk in a um sexual way with a sexual tone and that would be beneficial for everybody else thank you for listening let's move on i heard him say that uh, a black woman with a child is low value excuse the fuck out of me because <laughs> that means that baby your mama was low value the minute she stuffed your fat thick head through her pussy um are you sure that's what he said are you sure that's what he said because i can guarantee you if you watch his videos he doesn't say that he said you ladies with kids dropped a notch meaning on the scale of one to ten if you are a seven and then you have a you have a kid but hey i'm a strong independent woman i don't need a man but you want to go and have sex and have a baby so you can be a single mother yes it drops you low because not because you have a kid per se but that's part of it but the other one which is more essentially is do you know how to be a woman you see do you know how to cooperate with a man and most of y'all don't that's what it is so don't get angry that the truth is coming out for people like you now the question is do you have a husband I could probably guess you don't because if your husband would accept you to do that to your hair then you probably have a wife not a husband because I don't think he's a he's a man actually do you get the point now so ladies stop going out and having babies and not without getting married and if you get married stop blowing your marriage so you can be a strong independent single mother it doesn't look good on you because other men look at you and be like okay nope i'm not gonna go over there there is no reason no benefits to go there that's what kevin samuel is saying to you so if you if you are mad about it that's your problem deal with it you feel me Nope, I what happened to you, baby? Do you have a bad relationship with your mama? Did she do something to you? Was she a single mother and put men before you? Huh? Did she put you in fucked up situations? Let you get touched or something? <sighs> we are in 51 seconds and I don't even want to finish the rest of the video. But because I have to get that done, I know I'm going to watch the rest of the video. First of all, woman, I'm going to watch the rest of the video. First of all, woman, um, does what does her his mother have to do with this? Hmm. But question is when a woman does a bad decision why don't we also blame the mother now if you're gonna say that oh is it because your mother did something to you well whenever a woman is going through a hard time not coping with men um, having sex left and right getting pregnant all the time and not knowing who the daddy is do we go and say 
Did your mother do this to you? Do you see how stupid you sound right now? Yes. Think about it. Now, I'm not saying you're a stupid person, but what you just said sounds stupid. Because when a woman is complaining, you don't see people say, Did your mother do that to you? Did your father do this to you? No, 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 no. But when the man is speaking spark, is speaking facts, but you don't like it, then you start taking a uh, stab. You start to chip chop. Yeah, double standard. You are one of them that does that, and I'm not surprised. But I have to keep on going. Please stop with that sexual talking. You don't see me saying, oh, you. No, stop that sexual talk. Just speak like a normal person. Because that, that is not making you look any better, but worse. You do not look cute doing that. You don't. Because now you look at black women as if having a child is a bad thing. Honey, the minute that that pussy went to 10 centimeters, she turned into a goddess. No, 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 no. Actually, he is speaking about black women in the U.S. Because you don't see black women in Africa acting like this, do you? You don't see black women, black women in Mexico, in Cuba, in Haiti, in Dominican Republic, in Puerto Rico, in Jamaica, in the other islands, in South America. You don't see them acting like this, do you? Let me tell you, this one here is talking about is for people like you. People like you that are growing up in the country, in the U.S., maybe Canada. You guys are the bad ones, not black women in general. Those that grew up in this country, they are the bad ones most of the time. Not the other countries. Because you don't see divorce rates, 80% of women getting found in divorce in Africa, or in Cuba, or in Mexico, or in Haiti, or in, Do or in, or in the Dominican Republic, or in Jamaica, or any other country but the U.S. So you can be quiet on that part. And please... What is it about women thinking that they are a goddess? No, you are not a goddess. You are a godless. Because when you choose to be a, a baby mama, a single mother, because oh, I'm a strong independent woman, that shows, number one, that you don't know how to keep a man. Number two, you, cannot, you, don't, you show that you cannot submit to a man's authority. So, if you wouldn't submit to a man's authority, why would you submit to God's authority? Hmm? You see, God is the head of Jesus Christ. And Jesus is the head of the man. And the man is the head of the woman. If you have a hard time listening to your man, to submit to a man, how could you submit to Jesus? Who is God? Hmm? No, it shows you are godless, not a goddess. And first of all, if you are a goddess, then that means you are a pagan goddess, because there is no true goddess. There is only one God, there is no goddess. If you are a goddess, then you are a pagan, meaning in the Satan side, because only Satan actually works with pagan. So. You can call yourself a goddess if you want. If no man calls you a goddess, you are not. You are godless. Okay? Just so you know. Well, let's move on. Let's move on. A goddess when a woman births a human being. Are you crazy? Babe? No, it just makes you a human being. Because you were because God made you to bear children. Because if the, if it was reversed, if God had made men to be, to be our children while still being men, we wouldn't say we are God. Do you see how stupid you sound again? Do you see how stupid you sound again? 
Yes, that's how stupid you sound. Baby, it's, you sound crazy. You sound crazy and sound broken. And now you a mascot to all the broken niggas out there. Huh? That's been done wrong or some shit. So now you don't even find value in a woman. In a Actually, no. He does find value in a woman. What he's saying is, women that are leaving their men at an 80% rate just because they want, just because they feel that because they think they're a strong, independent woman, what value is she? What value is she gonna bring? What makes me think that she's not gonna get another man and do the same thing? Is that a value to, is that a value? No, she's a liability, not a value. What are you talking about? Well, oh, hold on, let me talk to you right now. Um, did you actually sit down and think through before you started um, doing this thing? Because I can tell you, you didn't make it put any thought process into what you were saying. I know we're not smart. But right now, you are not acting like a smart woman at all. You are not acting like a smart woman at all. So please, do me a favor, relax. A woman that has a child at a single mother, what? Somebody that's out here hustling and doing it by themselves? Is it that you just don't have the capacity to love like that? Oh my God. And they can. Like I said, they think they are strong, independent women. Oh my God. You know what? You can't love other people's children because you don't. You are shallow, baby. Your spirit is shallow. You don't have love in you, deep. Is that what it is? Most of us has been raised by another person, baby, that's helped along the way. Ain't nothing, ain't no love loss. Now you keep talking shit and calling us low valued and all that shit. We gonna, I'm gonna have a problem when I see you, you SpongeBob squarehead ass nigga, huh? The minute I see you with that turtle, I'm gonna wrap that pussy around that turtleneck, nigga. Show you what a woman do. Sorry, ass. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't want you guys to see that display again because that's not good. But anyways. Whew. <laughs> I'm going to stop it right here because I'm not going to comment on that part. But just whatever she just did. She, she can just talk and talk and talk, but it's okay. Um, she's not going to do anything. Because the, the woman, she sees him, she is going to be like, wow, that's him? Um, I want to know more about him. She's not going to do anything. She's just talking. That's it. She's like a, yeah, she's like a Patrick Beverly of the NBA. So, yeah, she is that Patrick Beverly on the, for the single mothers people, basically. She can just talk and talk and talk. And when she gets offended, then she wants to threaten people. That's what that's what that's what it is. Nothing valuable nothing valuable in this. Again, she just shows and proven that women like her doesn't bring any value to the men. Actually, they bring huh, chaos into the men. But anyway guys, I'm gonna stop it right here. This was my mission. Hope to see you guys again. Until then, 